Oh yeah. This is trucking. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Star Trucker. I'm so pleased you're already enjoying Star Trucker still. It is uh, a lot of fun. This is a really fun game. Uh, thank you very much for joining me today and welcome back to the Star Trucking industry. It's a good day today. We're happy. We're chucking along. I do need some fuel. We have some debris to deal with. We're just going to wiggle our way through with some basic evasive wiggles here. Uh, I do need to pick up some fuel because uh, the gauge is looking a little a little ropey, I'll be honest. So we're going to swing here and pick up some fuel on our way to the junk fields because we need to talk to um, Baby Moon or something or other, can't remember her name, some, some person about some shock absorbers. Got the radio on. I'm just trucking, baby. It's, it's good. It's a good life right now. It's all right. I complain a lot. I know I complain a lot. But right now, we're a bit on the open road. We're going to pick up some fuel. And we're heading over to the junk fields. Which, in itself, sucks. But I do have a job. I'm towing a trailer, and that's what we do. We don't go anywhere without a trailer on us. Although, I will admit, once we're finished with the junk fields here, we're going to have to go through a gate without a trailer on. And that, and that does hurt. That does hurt a bit. But uh, it is what it is. We'll manage. We'll manage. Uh, here we go. We're going to pick some fuel up, though. Just slowly cruising into here. Nice and precise. Nice and precise. Look at that. Like a freaking glove. Let's go. We just need the cabin. Bring it to a stop. Fuel that bad boy up. Oh, God. This is going to tank me, isn't it? This is going to break the bank. 1,869 is is my bank balance. And, uh... Oh! <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yep. Still, that means I've got a full tank now. And no more expenses. This job pays off pretty good. The fiberglass delivery to the junk fields. Too hot, no rush, easy peasy. We'll be nice and careful, we won't damage the truck anymore. Everything's good, we've got power cells, we've got air filters, we've got e ECCs or whatever they are. We're in top-notch condition for doing some jobs now and speeding up them hard, you know? Right, here we go. To the junk fields then. Oh yeah. Always puts a smile on my face this bit. Let's go! And the drop zone is right there, 0.8 miles. There we go, nice and chill. We'll drop this off, we'll go meet Moon Baby, that's her name. Moon Baby. Oh, that is. That is a little tight. There we go. Let's get this full job. We should get a nice early... Late! Late! What? 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 But, 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 how? How is... How? I was too, too long taking to get fuel and stuff. I should have cut that guy up. I should have cut that guy up. It would have been on time. God damn it. Still. It is a level up. It is a beautiful little level up. Um, and that does mean that we can now we we now have another skill point um and there was we got oversized loads we've got fragile loads cargo clearance so basically you go this side for the safe and sound Ooh. and you go this side for the fast and risky yeah. let's go um and then you've got the middle and in the middle is profit right <laughs> heavy loads valuable loads eva training i don't know why that does 30% power drain, air consumption, lovely, great. Heavy loads, two and three, valuable loads, two and three. So I may start down here because I, I realize as well, if you go to Convoy, you've got like, basically these are all your kind of story characters. Um, and you sit sour candy here. Um, unlock the just-in-time 
certification skill to start the sour candy side jobs. Well, that unlocks upgrades and other little bits and bobs. If you if you do these things, progress through Red Eddy and Sour Candy to unlock Dusty Bear, um, and that can get you upgrades all the way along. Um, and then you get one final job, I think, and that, that I don't know what that is. But anyway, uh, the point is, uh, we're going to unlock this one just in time jobs because I'm so punctual and great at driving fast, obviously. So hang on, you got EVA training here, and you got EVA training up there. Okay, minus thirty percent power drain, minus thirty. Do these stack? That's an interesting question. Do these stack? That would be cool. Minus. For Lucky J. There's our sour candy right on time. Heard you've been given a just-in-time job permit. If that's so, then I might have a teeny tiny job for you. Come find me at Harmony Link over in Atlas Prime if you're interested. Teeny tiny job. I'm not really interested in teeny tiny jobs. I'm interested in big, freaking, massive payout jobs. That's what I want. I want to hit the big time. Let's go. All right, we got to meet Moon Baby anyway because we got to get our um, shock absorber things in order to get through um, to to uh, locked sectors. We got sectors that we can't go through. You, we all know we got shouted at just for picking up cargo near the fucking gate of one of these sectors, right? So uh, we know we can get more sectors unlocked and that's what we need to do and that's going to open up more jobs longer distance jobs at the moment we've got some long distance jobs but they're like four jumps i wouldn't really call that a long distance um more than long distance for me like eight jumps now that's a freaking trip you know now there is um there is cargo to be had here at the junk field so there's just no job board so you have to pick up the job from another sector and i think that's going to be happening more and more as we move away from the core systems so we're going to have to pick up jobs go to the place to get the trailer and hopefully take a trailer on the way there as well. Alright, here we go. Hey, LJ. Red gave me a heads up you be heading this way. Said you're looking for some shock bobs? Yes, please. Well, I'm pretty sure I saw some around these parts the other day. Now, let me see. Uh -huh. Here, try these coordinates. Okie dokie. Just be careful out there. Real easy to rupture your hull while exploring this neck of the galaxy. Okay, so we've got four, three shock pod locations, and we need to do some EVAing. Okay, first of all, then, whoop, did a little bit too much spinning there. Let me um, exit the seat because, oh boy, well, that that happened. Uh, <laughs> the ECC's burnt out. Okay, so we got to turn. Let me turn the suit charger back on because that's what I was going to do. Gravity control. Now. There we go. Um, I just drop you there. Close that so that you don't get all damaged floating about. All right, and then we just drop you there gently. Rem and oh, and then you're damaged anyway, so you may as well just go on a shelf. And then let's turn on gravity commentators there we go okay and everything that's in these boxes should be safe from damage if they're floating about that's why you put them in boxes All right but we got some trade goods here um oh god what's going on here what is this oh this is the shock thingy which we don't have uh unlocked yet so that's kind of okay i got another box somewhere where is it oh there they are <laughs> emergency supplies that's now a bit damaged which is a shame but it's okay. I think we need to go back to Emerald Junction anyway. So I discovered something. I mean, you guys pointed it out in the chat. In the comments, sorry. If you click on there and have a little look at this tab, it tells you what commodities sell for what amount. So pharmaceuticals are up 4% over there, whereas pharmaceuticals were down 17% impurity. So you could do a little profitable run between there and there with pharmaceuticals. Bear in mind that literally the only pharmaceuticals available was one box, so it's nothing ma major. If we look at Atlas Prime, energy is plus 26%. We look at Tank Town, energy is minus 28%. Or Three Kings, energy is down 7%. Not as much as Tank Town, but uh, you get the idea. So um, the point is, this is really useful for seeing like what you can get cheap and where you can sell it. I have pharmaceuticals because I know that I'm going to be going back to Emerald Junction. However, knowing that, I might actually go to Tank Town, which has got uh, a job board. It's got a job board there. So we go there, pick up. A job board. Um, we could sell chemicals there, would be really good if we had any. I think I do have 
often pain pills and stuff in a box, don't I? Um, point is, anyway, we could go there, pick up something that's energy, like that, head to Emerald Junction, sell our pharmaceuticals, head out as Prime, because we need to go out as Prime to talk to this new person, uh, and sell the energy. And each, each time, we, we're making like a little side hustle here, and that's, I think, how we stay in profit. Right now, we're like right on the edge of affordability. Um, so as well as doing jobs, we need to uh, we need to go shopping a lot more. Okay. Anyway, so that's that minor disaster resolved. The shock shielding uh, system has just unlocked, but we need something to charge our suit up. And of course, we don't have a power cell in here. Uh, I've been ignoring that for a while because I've not needed to. There we go. Power cell. Come with me. This is a nice chunky power cell. This should last a while. Should pop me in there. There we go. Okay, so that should charge our suit now, as we're going to be doing a lot of EVA. We're going to need that. All right. <clears throat> Let's go and check out these locations then. Let's see if we can get ourselves some shot pods. Flying around in the jump fields. Great. And we'll head over to Tank Town. Buy as many energy things as we can. Shoot. Looks like it's just junk. Okay. Very lucky. I must have been mistaken about this location. But I'm oh, sure good. you'll have better luck at one of the other spots. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it will be the very last spot that I go to will have the shock pods. Yeah, <laughs> as it always is. Lots of debris around here. We've got to be very careful, but we're quite nimble because we don't have a trailer. So we can quite easily avoid all the debris as long as we're vigilant keep our eyes open not going a million miles an hour being nice and safe and steady and that is in an awkward position isn't it you have to go up and under what's that an abandoned container i know it ain't what you're looking for but it might still be worth grabbing containers like that can save a whole lot of back and forth when you're hunting for salvage sometimes they've even got gold inside well, not literal gold, but we can hope. All right, let's have a little look-see, shall we? The problem I have now is that all my boxes have got stuff in them, so I can't take a box with me, if you know what I mean. Hopefully it's just one or two items. <laughs> I mean, there are boxes here. So we may be able to put all this stuff in one of the boxes that's already here. As long as we don't knock one. Anything on it? Open that. Yeah, it's empty. Look at that. Okay. Grab you. There you go. Oh, you're spinning. You're spinning. In, 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 in. There we go. Grab a power coil. Look at you. Perfect condition. 200 power coil. That is a beautiful power coil. Lovely jubbly. So this is what I mean, you know? Yeah, these suckers. Grab that box, take it back to the truck. I'm all upside down and roundabout. This is a big difference for me between like normal truck simulators and Star Trucker is this kind of like the whole EVA business. Going out, scavenging stuff off the ground. It's crazy. Right. Um, let's put you there for now. Go back out. There are two other boxes out there. I'm going to carry one at a time, but it's fine. There are boxes and I don't know what's in them. We'll find out when we get them back in. Right now, let's just grab them and go. I mean, having empty boxes is still useful for, you know, doing trading of little commodities and such. But there's some uh, face walkie music. This is what I'm reduced to. Scavenging junk. One day, one day I'll have my own truck company. You, you wait and see. I'll make it. I'll make it. Don't you worry about it. The days of scavenging in spacesuits will be over. It'll be the high life for me. That's right. It'll be the high life. Empty. Empty. Okay. <laughs> well, empty boxes can go down there. 
And we got two more hard case boxes. I mean, this isn't bad. We got an air filter. Let's get that plugged in straight away, actually. May as well. I mean, we got four air filters, guys. We are freaking breathing easy. And that is an expensive component, that thing. And we've got a power cell here. Pop that in there. There we go. Nice 200 power cell. And that will last beautifully somewhere. And there we go. We'll put the other crates on the shelves. Uh, somebody mentioned if you put them on the shelves and then open them, they don't float around when the gravity goes off. So that's a nice little trick. But uh, I worry that if they're open, they might get damaged through other, other means. But we'll see. Anyway, let's get to the last location. See if we can find ourselves a shock pod. Obviously. I knew I'd seen shock pods around here somewhere. Go grab them and bring them back to your rig. Should slot nicely into their little spot on the lower deck. Once they're installed, your rig should have no trouble dealing with electrical storms. Great. Thanks, Moon Baby. Hopefully they're in good condition, you know. Alright, is this another system I need to charge as well? I wouldn't have thought so. They're shock absorbers, not shock holders, you know. <laughs> They shouldn't need an electrical charge to work, right? Anyway, looks like we've got some more stuff out here, actually. Not just the shock pods. We've got a cardboard box, so we can put stuff in there. Oh, here we go. Right. Open. Yep. Oh, you spinny little bastard. One. Turn around. Here we go. These are the little bad boys we need. Unpopped. Unpopped shock pod. I take it uh, getting shocked is like um, something that wears these down very quickly, right? And you want to avoid getting shocked at all costs, really, because otherwise you've got to replace these things a lot. I'm guessing. We'll see when we get to those locations. Shock shielding! Functioning shock pods installed in your truck shielding can be activated. Lovely. This system protects your truck from electrical overloads, which would otherwise cause damage to sensitive goods and other systems. It also helps dissipate charge gained from spending too much time within electrical storms. Remember to replace shock pods if they pop to keep your shock shielding online. There you go. Okay, let's install these suckers. And there you have it, darling. Your new shop pods have been installed. Well, they're mostly new. Maybe a little scuffed up. Those should protect against pesky electrical storms overloading your circuits. They'll pop once they've done their job, though, so be sure to replace them regular lack. This is GB from the... My goodness, were you reading the mail on us, GB? Well, it's been a slow day here at the office. So, is Lucky got functioning shock pods and shielding now? Sure does. I'll vouch for him. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. LJ, you've officially earned jump gate clearance to the mineral colonies. Ha <laughs> ha Jump clearance has been granted to the following sectors. Haysway, Spark City, New Aspen, Crotsvale, Purgatory, Meteor Ridge. Holy moly, look at this. Well, well, well. Look at Crossvale. Wow, that's a one-way system down there. All right, that opens things up a little bit, doesn't it? Three Kings. Ooh. Three Kings is not a good place to do some draining. Hmm? Well, it's a good place to buy some stuff, I suppose. But they're only, like, a little bit down. So, maybe not. Electrical Electronics at Spark City. Who would have thought? Plus 38. <laughs> Where can we get electronics? Like, super cheap. There, look, Medusa 6. So four jumps away. 4% uh, in Emerald Junction. You still make a profit, but not as much. Wow, look at that. That's pretty good. So we've got some general goods in New Aspen. Very good price for those. Crossvale. Holy moly. Textiles, pharmaceuticals, general goods, and energy. They are desperate in Crossvale for stuff, aren't they? Huh? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um... Crossvale must be like where all the good shit is happening. Food and drink in purgatory. <laughs> no, 
no doubt. <laughs> purgatory, bad times. Gas is expensive in purgatory as well. Okay. Um, wow, well, we want to go to Crossvale, don't we? Huh? Look at that. We want to go to Crossvale, but we want to fill up on loads of stuff. Energy, 26%. Tank Town, it's a long way away. Anything, basically anything that's profit worthy is about four jumps away. It's crazy, right? Just be sure to keep an eye on your whole charge when passing through those sectors. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, hang on. I gotta respond. Oh, crap. I'm gonna miss it. Time takes to get into the seat, and then reach for the radio, and then... <laughs> Ma'am, you don't make me feel old. Anyway, I should get back to monitoring the airwaves. This is GV, over and out. Lovely, thank you. Ain't that swell. Guess you'll be heading to Spark City soon, then. Wish I could join y'all, but I've got a job I need to be getting on with. Be sure to say hi to Red for me, and don't let the party get too crazy, alright? Moon baby out. Bye, Moon Baby. Thanks for the shock pods. Okay, so we've got two dead UCCs and only one UCC remaining. Uh, we've got low power on. Oh, Jesus, the core systems have worn out a lot, haven't they? Gravity, oxygen, and maglock systems are down to 11%. Oh my gosh. 41% um, efficiency on one filter, but we're all good on filters. That should be no problem. It's the power levels that have me more concerned right now. All right, so we need to get to Tank Town, pick up a job, and then get. To back to Emerald. Was it Emerald? Gosh. Young Town's up here. We buy energy there and we sell energy at. We wanted to go back to Atlas Prime where energy is 26% up. All right. Spark City is also 20% up, but electronics are the, are the real kicker there. Hazy, Hayes Way as well. Look at all the prices there. Crap. You definitely don't want to go there without like a box full of. Stuff, right? Here we go then. We're off to Tank Town. Crank some tunes. Let's get on the road. We've got a full fuel. Just a little low energy. But we'll be fine. Yeah! Ready to rock, baby. Woo! Alrighty, so let's get some, uh, yeah, energy cells here. Very cheap, very, very cheap. We got some shock pods for sale here as well. What are these? Micro stabilizers. Ooh, five grand each. Hmm. Probably use a UCC. Um, just as a, like, a little spare. Stimpaks, narcotics. Oh, -ho! get busted for those. <laughs> I right, got about three grand here, so I'm spending about half of that on, on just two energy cells and a UCC there. But that doesn't mean we now have a full box now of power cells. There are three spare UCCs. Hello. Something is very wrong. Something is very, very wrong. What is going on here? Holy shit. I think I just died. Why the f did my cab just get minus 30? I didn't get any warnings whatsoever. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> am I... Am I still in Tank Town? I'm in Atlas Prime! What the literal shit? Oh my god! Are you f***ing with me? 
I should have just rushed to put my suit on. That's why I should have seen when the frost was coming up. I should have gone straight for my suit, put that on. I don't know why the cab went so cold so quickly without any warning whatsoever. Like, environmentals... I like oxygen environmental systems aren't bad. They're not offline. Okay, I didn't have them on strong enough. I guess Tank Town's like super cold, but holy fuck me, I just died like so fast. Oh my god. This is the worst possible outcome. I have $251. Tank Town was supposed to be like uh, a nice little profit maker here. I, 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 I mean, I can sell some power cells here, I guess. I was, I got antidepressants and painkillers and multivitamins, which were all pharmaceuticals, which would have been good in, uh, somewhere. Where would it have been good? Pharmaceuticals are high in... Well, Medusa. I thought Emerald Junction had good pharmaceuticals, but maybe I misinterpreted that. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. I don't know then. I mean, um, plus 9% in Medusa 6, I guess. But, you know, it wasn't mainly the main thing was we're going to have to sell a bunch of power cells here. 21%. We should make a decent profit off of them, at least, anyway. We, we, we can't run on $251. This is ridiculous. I, 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 I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. That, that's... Fuck! <laughs> Get! I don't know where I am right now, even in Atlas Prime. Great, Atlas Prime and all that, so... Um, New Liberty. What? Head... Hang on, I got... Ooh. Sour Candy wants to meet me in Harmony Link. All right, Harmony Link is... That way, thought so. Let's go there, because there is a shop at Harmony Link, and I believe a job board. Oh my god, that was... that's a complete... I fucking died! Or I was rendered unconscious, and somebody called the emergency services on me, but holy crap, that ambulance cost. Mate, if you see the frost coming around, get your suit. Just get the suit. Immediately get the suit. <laughs> Don't try and warm the cab up. It takes too long. You're not going to do it. Um, I didn't get any kind of like warning sounds or anything like that. That was crazy. That just happened. Oh gosh, there's 1500. Not the sort of thing I could afford right now. I am running on fecking fumes money wise, energy wise as well. I'm gonna sell energy packs, but in all honesty, I got six energy packs in a box. I need all six of them. Look at this shit. I don't know what I'm gonna do, guys. It may be a case of just get this job from Sour Candy with the energy I've got, burn through the packs I've got, replace them all. Uh, oh my god. That was rough. That was rough. That was rough. There's Cosmos Cash and Carry and a job board. Maybe we can sell the data tapes and stuff here. We just get rid of those. I don't know. I, can't, I really have time to look for where to sell them, you know what I mean? I just gotta get some freaking money in the bank. Breaker, breaker for Lucky J. Hey, hey, hey. Here for that job I mentioned? Yeah. Great. I'm looking for someone to haul something to Emerald Junction. Right. I do it myself, but I really need to get back to my workshop. Should be some sweet lettuce on delivery, though. Lettuce? What's the catch? Just a little something for Barrow. Nothing crazy, though. Scout's honor. Uh-huh. Just give me a moment. Scout's on it. Okay, I've sent you the delivery schedule. Pick if up stuff from Barrow. Late, there'll be nowhere to park the trailer. And if you're too late, Barrow won't need the shipment anyway. So the trick is to optimize your route. It might be a quick turnaround, but you can't make it too quick. You copy? Right. It, we, we, uh, fucking... Okay, Monday the 10th of February, you want me to get to Emerald Junction, which means going down the speed lane, right? We've been paying a toll, which is 150 if I remember last time. Not great! When I'm at 251, I could just about make that. All right? <laughs> if I die again, I think it's fucking game over. Right? So you want me to pick this up? Uh, can I have details about the job, please? Like here, this would be very useful right now. 
Okay, so I need to pick up stuff for Barrow from Bay HLMO, which is over there, one mile away. Arrive at Emerald Junction from the 10th of February, 637. Drop off by TBD. Okay. Well, I'll assume you do. Oh. Just be sure to let me know how it pans out. Sorry, I didn't realize you were waiting for me to say stuff. Shit. Uh... Emerald Junction. Yeah, 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 yeah. General goods, food and drink are up. Textiles are down. Okay, we can get textiles from there and sell them somewhere else. Bark City. Nope. Textiles. No. Haze. No. Oh, textiles. Haze. Haze Way. Yes. So if we if we go, oh, I don't know. Fuck it out. <laughs> this is this is horrendous. All right. So maybe we get a nice freaking payout from this cargo but i need to 637 it is 431 i don't have a lot of time to do two jumps given how the the expressway only takes an hour i get it i gotta be quick here because i don't have time to dilly dally no dilly dallying on the shop front here okay I was lucky I got a hitch because I was well wonky. Well wonky! But it did it anyway. We're okay. Come on, 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 come on. Okay. Um, so I don't get anything for that, so I'm not selling that. Right, what do we want? What do we got here? We got the UCCs, I don't want to sell those. The power cells. Look at this, 3,000 for this pupper, which is a 200. I want to keep these guys. Um, let's not sell them. Let's sell these guys. <laughs> God, I'm making no money on this at all. I'm making no money on any of this! I bought them for more than that. You, okay, fine. We're not doing anything here then. Uh, and I can't afford anything. So... Bye-bye, I guess. Suck it. I ain't giving it... I'm not giving it away money. This is, this is bullshit. Let's go. Powers, power systems will hold. We'll be all right. 20 degrees in this cab. 14 degrees external. I don't know how it's 14 degrees centigrade in space, but let's not think too hardly about it, yeah? Uh, Maglock. All right, now we got to go to Medusa 6. It's four miles that way. Let's take that, that space road on the left. And we got to get there by fucking 6. Well, no, not by 637, from 637. So I suppose drop off Bay TBD. We don't know the Bay number. Get out of my road, dude. Get out of my road. This is stressful. This is stressful levels right now. I have no money. I just fucking died. Alright, and I got a freaking rapid delivery job where I don't even know where it's going. Let's go! <laughs> it's fine! <laughs> Upbeat, optimistic music. Let's go. Everything will be fine. It's trucker's life. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, dickhead. We're overtaking this sucker. What's up? What you hauling? Freaking turtles? Yes, slow coach. Woohoo! Turtles, good one, Spanch. Burning through serious gas right now, putting the pedal to the metal, doing 160, 150 miles per hour. It's burning gas. I'm hoping this pays like four grand. I honestly, I'm hoping that will nice, nice set my account back to where it was. And we can forget this whole nasty, fuck me, is that debris? Yes, it is. We got debris, people. Okay, let's slow it down a bit. We just slow it down a bit. Let's not, let's not get twatted. Let's not get twatted. It's all right. We're okay. We're, we're freaking pro now. We're pro. This debris ain't got shit on me. There's a bit right there, right in front of me, but you can barely see it. But there's just a little bit of light shining over it. Fuck you, little daddy, little debris. You think, you think I couldn't see you? I saw you. Yeah, I saw you. Somebody fucking clean this up. This is bullshit. I see it, like, litter along the side of the road. It just pisses me off. But why? Why would you do that? Your car is basically a rubbish bin, and you can take it home and put it in a fucking bin. Stop throwing rubbish out your windows. All right, here we go. We're all lined up, sort of. Stuff 
four barrow. Brilliant. I love that description. I'd really accept that manifest normally. Let's go. And we just watch the clock ticking away. 606. Uh, what do you want? Um, what's a 1017? Really are a green apple, huh? Yeah. Well, I've been hearing reports of an unregistered freight job. You hauling something for sour candy? Um. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm gonna let it slide this time. Uh -huh. Just be careful in the future, alright? Aye, aye. Folk at the DIV ain't as lenient as me. Alright. Thanks, BG. I guess. Look at that view! That looks fucking awesome. Alright, express gates to Emerald Junction. To my right, I'm staying on the road here as long as I can. Uh, well, though, we're gonna get honked at. Yeah, honked at. I don't know if we're gonna make this turn. We made the turn. I'm awesome. And we got a hard right. Let's not twat ourselves into some debris, though, yeah? How is an express gate... Let's, let's be honest, right? How is an express gate surrounded by debris? I mean, who put this together? They did a fecking slap on the nutsack. That's what they need. Oh, wrong button. W is not go. Space is go. <laughs> w is pitch down. How's our energy levels? We're at 6% on the maglock. We could be in real danger. If we don't get there before the maglocks uh, disappear, we're going to lose the trailer. I'm sure it'll be fine. We're just not thinking about it too much. Problem will go away on its own soon enough. Alright. 637. $150 for the toll. I have no money left, guys. I am so broke. Uh, lucky Jay, you just seen warping in. Well, how about that then? Perfectly on Oh, it's Jason right Satan. Head on over and attach the merch at these coordinates. We'll have this job wrapped up in no time at all. All right, boy. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, we'll do a job for you. Don't worry about it. I've got a proper East London accent to imply that I'm some kind of criminal because obviously. Everybody from East or even South London is a fucking career criminal. That's right. We're so fucking stereotyped out. You may as well just get over it. All right, here we go. Um, by 2150, we've got loads of time. All right, so that worked out. Reasonably okay. And I'm hoping for a nice juicy payout, yeah, Mr. Mr. Frickin' Jason Statham wannabe. Pay me. Bitch, please. Barely covers the fucking fuel. Great stuff. Thanks for the delivery, Lucky. I'll keep you in mind next time I need something doing on the sly. Yeah, yeah, okay. you can go, unless you're going to pay me more, you can go yourself. Oh, it's Tone it's Change. changed. It's very well in the clear, he's a nice jolly old fella now, isn't he? Whereas before he was all like uh, gangster and shit, now he's changed. Hello, mate, yeah, I'm doing great, mate, how you doing? I'm just doing, I'm just doing my primroses, don't worry about it, yeah. Oh my god. Job board! Also, mag locks, 5%. I reckon we get another job in them. Yeah, we got another job in those. Those badges. Let's get ourselves a freaking job. Oh, I tell you what, the job board's over by Tiger Rock. That is Starbreak Supplies. Let's just check one second, actually. Where are we? We're in Emerald Junction, yeah? Um. Ooh, food and drink is better, but everything else is bad. Let's, let's not bother. We could buy some, speculatively buy some textiles with the money we just earned. Um, and we can look for a job that goes to somewhere that, that wants textiles at a good price. Nope. 
Ace way, fifteen percent. These these uh, prices definitely fluctuate. Yeah, Hayes Hayesway. Ooh, death. Hayesway has death, electricity, and a shop. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> death. <laughs> what is that? Um, why why is it dead in Hayesway? I don't know. I didn't even know. Uh, let's see if we can get a job for Hayesway, and then we can maybe see if we can buy some textiles. Death. Oh my god, everything's looking so bad right now. We have the power cores, I'm just waiting for them to like run out of juice properly. Okay, none of these things go where I want them to go. But maybe one of them goes through where I want to go, if you know what I mean. Just in time. Rush delivery, just in time. Two hop. Two hop, two hop, two hop. Hang on a second. Let's see. Right. So the map, Hayesway, New Aspen is on the way, Meteor Ridge is on the way, and Crossvale is on the way. If you want to Spark City, we could go that way as well, although that's going to take a long time. So if you have a look for any jobs, to go to New Aspen, or Crossvale, or even Meteor Ridge. I think we'll be okay. Now I've got to get out of my chair. <coughs> Close the door, and I can reaccess the job board. So this is the West Coast, o o mm, hang on, these are Onyx, Crossvale, Medusa 6, Edgeburg, New Aspen. New Aspen, two jumps, double five, one eight. Industrial Waste, lovely. Three Kings. Two Grand, Edgeburg, Purity. Okay, so I think the best one is a Toxic Waste, isn't it? Although Crossvale, Polythene Rolls, 4,000 kilograms, long distance, 3,435 by Monday, today, uh, 1053. That's, that's like in less than four hours. That's, that's in exactly four hours. You want me to make three jumps in four hours? The estimated time is, is six hours and 30 minutes. So how are you even selling that job right now? That's some bullshit, is what that is. Expected Tuesday by 0400. Estimated time, 5 hours, 30 minutes. One jump. Two, two jumps, rather. Industrial waste. That's the better job. Pays out less, but it's the better job. Let's go get some textiles. Job is over there, right by the Hayesway gate, which is perfect. Work, work wear carton, 1,500. Lovely, okay. All right, we've got something to trade here. All right. Uh, quick systems check. Yeah. Everything needs replacing right now. Switching out all the power cells. I'm doing it. All right. So everything apart from the oxygen one, which has still got about 20% on it. So I want to change that just yet. But we bought ourselves some clothes. Speculative buy. We've still got plenty of fuel. Big debris field right ahead. Let's go get our cargo. Let's get on the way. Hopefully we can make a bit of money on this one. That's the plan. Let's try not to die this time. Low bar, but hopefully we can make it. All right, pretty good connected. The gate is right here. Sell our textiles in Hayes Way and then move on to the next part straight away. Hopefully we won't get shocked, but we've got our shock pods if we do get shocked. Be interested to see what this place looks like. Here we go. Hit up some tunes! Holy 
Lee Moly. Holy fudge. Well, this is definitely a new freaking driving challenge. Holy crap. The road through an asteroid field. Can you believe this shit? Possibility of successfully navigating an asteroid field is approximately 3,720 to 1. Never tell me the odds. We just got shocked. We're getting zapped. Please tell me that shop isn't there. Uh, you don't have to go like... Oh, I bet it is as well. Look at it. I bet that's the freaking shop. Sorry, mate. I'm ready transporting toxic waste. Dodgy Dan's Black Market Goods. <laughs> right, here's the difficulty thing. I need to ditch the trailer, dock with Dodgy Dan's, and then rehitch the trailer. This will be fine. Okay, let's see, 1500, that's what I bought them for. Okay, we're going to make some profit here though. Oh, what the fuck, no, that's not what I went to do, why did you close the window, you goddamn bastard? I'm not done yet. My like mouse was right over the unhitch button as well. God damn it. All right, I want to sell all of this stuff because it's all making profit. 2,800. There we go. Bingo. This is what we want. This is the speculative shit that we wanted, right? And there's the medical supplies as well, actually. Confirm trade. Thank you for your business. Right, now you can unhitch. Now I need to rehitch to my cargo. All right, we're, we're hooked back on. Now we've got to find the road again. Or oh, we just pulls it through the freaking thing there. I don't... I don't know about that. I see the lights down there. We should rejoin the road. There it is. Thought that was my trailer hitting something then. We're okay. Follow the trails. Safe path through the freaking asteroid field. The first time fecking here, I don't want to just like drive off road and just end up in a magnetic freaking storm or some shit. Here we go. All right, we're trucking. Unbelievably, we're going. We're getting shocked again. Oh my god, we're literally driving through the middle of a freaking electrical storm right now. Oh gosh! Getting shocked like crazy. Oh boy. Overcooking this turn! Everything's fine. Let's get out of here. We gotta get back on schedule. 
Woo! This is a freaking danger pace, I tell you. Holy crap, I'm drifting off the uh, of the road here. Red, red energy. <laughs> the number one energy drink in the galaxy. If it ain't red, it's just bad. Red energy. Here's the gay AC, it's a new aspirin, let's go. Woo! Get me out of here. New Aspen. Okay, okay. Tractor finally got clearance for the mineral colony. Just so you know, a few of us are still meeting up in Spark City. Welcome to New Aspen. This is an automated inspection checkpoint. Please be patient while we check for compliance with local regulations. Alrighty. Oh, New Aspen is electrical, electrically as well. Inspection has concluded. Result is green. Please enjoy the rest of your journey. What was I saying again? Oh, yeah. Just so you know, a few of us are still meeting up in Spark City. You should head over. It'll be a blast. <laughs> Another 1017 for Lucky J. Sounds like you finally got clearance for the mineral colonies. If that's true, swing by Atlas Prime sometime. I'll be over at Palm View working on a business deal that might interest you. He's not doing his primroses anymore, is he? He's back to being hard and gangster. Yeah, right. yeah, you go truck things for me, right? Oh, Jesus. He mucks everything up. Oh, that was close. A little scratchy scratch, but not a hit. We're okay. Debris everywhere. There's a, like, brain thing here. That's so cool. Look at that. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, that's a hit. That's a hit. Right at the end of the freaking trip. Bollocks. That'll cost us. You can't see these things until it's too late and there's no time to maneuver out of the way. That sucks, man. I got it all the way there without any damage. Literally less than a mile from the freaking drop off. I get hit by a meteorite. Not bad, not bad. Only 191 for a bit of damage on the trailer there. Okay, we got that. Plus the sort of two and a bit grand we made on the on the way. That makes it worth it. We're back up to 7,500 or 400, sorry. All right, our oxygen's about to run out. Let's um, switch that, switch that over. I gotta sell all these empty power coils now. And that means that we're completely plumb out of power and we've got to reacquire six more becking power coils. Pause. Oxygen is back up. We have everything in the green here. Power wise, look at that board, isn't it beautiful? We are at 10 degrees though. Let's uh, turn the heat up a little bit here. 11, minus 121 over here. We're potentially going to get cold. We got, we've lost an air filter. All right, we've lost an air filter. It's okay. Okay, we got a job to meet Barrow and Atlas Prime now. That is. A long way away. Best to go up to Three Kings via Spark City, pop in on Red Eddy, and then over to Atlas Prime on the high on the on the uh, expressway, and to see him. So we got we got Spark City, Three Kings to go through. Spark City is buying electronics at a very good price here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is all the time I have for today, but I hope you enjoyed and you continue to enjoy these Star Trek videos. Thank you for joining me today. Today was a bit of a roller coaster. We were at the very lowest point. You actually a pretty kind of reasonable point, I suppose. 
I would say a high point, but uh, it seems like we've taken all episodes just to get back to where we started from. <laughs> that is the nature of star trucking. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Hello, Philly. I'll see you next time. You then take care. Bye-bye.